Hello and welcome back to Grower's Farm. My name is James and today is still September the 18th. So as I mentioned in my last vlog, uh, we are uh, we're continuing on today. We're doing a second vlog from today um, because uh, Mark is working on here. He's taking charge of the combine today. Uh, we've also got this field out here that needs uh, that needs bailing up field two. So uh, yeah, we've uh, we've got that to do at some point. Uh, I'm just going to put. I'm actually just going to park the red rock trailer here, uh, and I think we're going to go and see if we can get the uh, if we can get the um, the baler and get working there. But I am. Uh, I'm going to actually follow Mark round because looking at this, I don't know where I don't know where he is on the field at the moment, and I need to make sure that uh, that he actually is able to empty because it's not a huge combine and it is quite a big field. Um, but we'll follow him around the field, uh, make sure he's still able to empty. Uh, but yeah, we've got we we need to get some more bales made. We don't want to make any more straw pellets. We need uh, we need the uh, straw for uh, bedding off field two, um, as opposed to for pellets. So we're going to be doing that. We might pellet up the barley straw on the next field over here. Uh, I think that might go down quite well. But here, <clears throat> there he is. He's at the top of the field here. So we'll follow him round. Um, he's missed a few bits on the edge, uh, but we can always pop around and catch those up later. Uh, but yeah, so he's uh, he's going around and cutting the field uh, while we're doing the carting today. It'll allow me to, uh, once we've emptied him this time, to go and get uh, the baler and get started on field two. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be good to get this canola up, good to get this all finished. Uh and uh, and the and the harvest is proceeding nicely. Uh, this is the thing about uh, uh, about harvest up here. Even even in the lowlands, we are we are still sort of mid September um, before we get all of our crop done. He's doing he's doing a pretty good job of a of a fairly difficult to do in places field. You can see him manoeuvring the combine round, trying to uh, to get the best cut he can, and to keep it going around the field. Uh, he's actually almost at a point where we want to empty. Is he going? Oh, he's cut that corner. Quite a lot. He's cut that corner. I think he's going to have to come back and do that. I think getting around there was a bit much. Um, but yeah, that's getting fairly full. So we'll keep up. Uh, we'll come up beside him and we'll empty out at this point. Into our red drop trailer, which is about perfect for this combine. There we go. Getting my uh, throttle downhill is always a pain. Right, he's gonna he's gonna manoeuvre now, so I want to stay out of his way, and then we'll pick him up on the uh, next run because he's still got a fair amount. Let's see if I can get my uh, cruise control set up correctly for this. And now we've got the cruise control set up, we can uh, we can catch up with him and get this. So we're in a position where uh, it should work and should allow us to stay beside it. So come up the side. I gotta watch out because I know I've got a. Uh, I've not got an island coming up ahead. Yeah.
I want to keep this nice and stable so that I can uh, empty out this tractor or empty out the combine is uh, an interesting conundrum, but I think we'll be empty by the time we get to this corner. We seem to have got our position looking quite good at the moment. And there we go. So I'm going to pull out of his way uh, with this. And we'll head back to the, uh, the entrance to the field. Uh, he'll get about, well, he'll probably get back around to here before he needs to empty again. Uh, he, he might even make it most of the way around the field because it wasn't quite empty last time. So uh, that's good news. We are going to go and see if we can get hold of that. Uh, well, what I think I might do is we'll leave this tractor here. Uh, attach to this and we'll go and get our 8150 and we'll plug that up to the baler and that means all I have to do every time I want to uh, go and empty the combine is just hop the fence which should work fairly well so uh, let's park this out the way down the bottom of the field here like so so we're not too much in the way hopefully like that and we'll turn it off handbrake on and we'll just pop across here to the farm this is one of the nice things it's not too far if I want to go and grab another tractor for another job we need to open this up and then we're going to grab this tractor here uh, 8560. So, uh, yeah, this has got more than enough uh, power on it to, uh, to do this job. Combine's going in the distance. We are going to hook up this. There we go. Hook all of that up, and out we go. So this class baler has done us uh, really rather nicely so far. Keeps us going well. And of course, we uh, our agreement with um, uh, with with Crone means that we only use uh, that we only use that uh, T8 that they've lent us. For, uh, for with their where their primos. Uh, so if we were to if we were to pellet up this field, we could do that. Absolutely fine. Um, but uh, yeah, we're we're not going to be doing that at the moment. We are probably going to follow the combine round and uh, and do the other field. As I said, uh, I think pelleting that up and selling the pellets because the pellets I think are worth a little bit more than the. Uh, the straw would be just baled. Right. Turn on our baler. Drop down our pickup. And away we go. Right. I am going to get some bales done. Um, and uh, in a bit we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we're doing on both of these fields. But uh, yeah. Two jobs at once. This is going to work out well. So I'm getting to the edge of the first headland here and I notice that my combine is getting fairly full again. So we'll get to here. And I'm just going to leave this tractor here for a moment. Hop the fence. And this is this is where this comes into being useful. Uh, I don't know where our combine is. I think it must be somewhere down the far end of the field. So let's head down there and get it emptied. And hopefully, we can get there before Mark runs out. If not, he will... Uh, no, he's uh, yeah, he's stopped at the far side. So our idea, what I need to do is keep a closer eye on where he is. Um, fortunately, I get some real-time telemetry uh, from the combine. But yeah, he needs unloading. So let's pull up alongside and hopefully oh. went a bit 
quicker than I was expecting then. Or that my tractor can do up this hill. There we go. So, there. Oh, it really doesn't want to stay alongside. We should get a nice full tank, or a uh, nice full trailer off this. But I think my karting skills are a little bit rusty, to be honest. There we go. That's oh, positioned us nicely. I'm going to stay out of the crop, though, if we can. Trying to get this to work as I want it to. There we go. And we're now full. So there's no more he can put in. He's He's got about 20% of his tank full. Uh, so we're going to head down on the road here and get this emptied. And uh, in the meantime... Yeah, and then we'll head back and we'll, uh, we'll jump back in our other tractor. And get uh, hopefully another headland done. Uh, in the meantime, that combine can just keep going, and Mark can keep that up. So, uh, yeah, it's it's flowing well at the moment. We're doing nicely. I don't think we're going to get all of this uh, straw baled before uh, we finish combining the field. Uh, but we should be uh, we should be doing well. Just finished emptying the combine again, and uh, and he's off. Uh, he's off. He's doing. He's into doing the uh, the up downs now. So uh, we want to line ourselves up at this end of the field. Hopefully we can pick it up each time and uh, and and go from here. Uh, he's missed a few patches, uh, so hopefully uh, he'll pop round and pick those up afterwards. But at the moment it's a bit, um, yeah, it's a bit patchy in places. I think it's been a while since Mark's done this. But I thought I'd give him a go, seeing as I, need, I had so much else to do over here with this bailing we've got uh, we've got one headland done we're on to the second at the moment and uh and it's it's going nicely we are managing to uh to get around this and do it in a fair amount of time uh and we're getting a good number of bales off here we have had one bale roll down because i couldn't i couldn't make it the whole way up this side of the field before i had to drop a bale which was a problem i tried to keep the bales off the headlands um, and uh, or off the top and bottom ends of the fields, um, and uh, and uh, off the uh, yeah you can see here. Fortunately, with this baler, we're we're pretty good at being able to hold on to the bales um, and get them in the right place. So we're we're able to drop bales a little bit more exactly where I want to, but uh, there are still limitations to that. And uh, and we should we should do pretty well though. We we seeming to get round the field in about the time it takes for the combine to get a full tank. So the only time when we're having a little bit of a problem um, is when the uh, when we've had to go and empty. So uh, sort of every other unload, we're we're getting a little bit tight for that. So let's get that done. As you can see, the, the, I think the combine's at about 31% at the moment. We are, uh, and we're at the top end of the field. So we should be all right. We should be doing okay. And it'll take the combine a little bit longer now because it's doing the turnarounds at the end. It's not doing the headlands anymore. Uh, so it's a little bit more time consuming for him in that. Uh, we, however, get to zoom around this field. Uh, and so my plan is to try and empty out the combine every time I've uh, I've gone round a headland. There we go. And away we go again. But we should make it. We should make it round in time, and that will be good. Uh, and this tractor, even though even with its age, is just running so very nicely at the moment. Absolutely uh, cracking tractor for this. Oh, now now I've got to drop a bale on the headland. Unfortunately, 
We can work round it. The, the fewer bales we have at the top end here, the better. But, um, yeah, that is uh, that has not been great. There we go. And what we should be able to do is pick up. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking down there, and I'm looking where my combine is. It should manage to do one more return, I think, uh, and then we'll be able to pick it up and uh, and get moving there with it. So I'm going to drop a bale here, nicely out of the way, and then we'll follow this round. And you can see where uh, the headland starts running into the uh, the actual field. So it won't be long before we're doing the up-down. There we go. I'm going to place this bale at the bottom here, I think. Yeah. And a little bit jagged, the edges on this. I'll drop off whatever we've got fill it up and at the end here we've got a little bit of fun but that's that done and we'll drop that one off that will be nicely out of the way there and up to the end so yeah it really is again we're, we're just trying to be as efficient as possible um, this uh, this spell of good weather is something that's a little bit out of the ordinary And our combine is coming back. Interestingly, coming back. I don't know. What is Mark doing? That almost looks like a cut-in, but it's quite a long cut-in. Or it's not a very deep cut-in. But it is a cutting. We'll see where he goes. I might have to go and have words with him otherwise. If he's going... Yeah, he's going... Okay, he's doing this field in a weird way. I'm going to have, have words with him at the end of this. Because I don't quite know what he's doing. I think he's. I think he's got his wits set wrong for some reason so uh, we'll go and have a word with him see if we can get him to to cut this field properly I think because that they're making these lanes this is just inefficient yeah you're gonna stop again in a moment I think his I think his divider isn't quite where he thinks it is Should empty us out. I'll have a word with him in a bit because that's a bit odd. But we'll uh, we'll get ourselves filled up first. Why can I? Why can I never find a combine driver? How to do this? It, it just shows if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing yourself. Uh, there we go. We're full. So I'm going to have a word with him. Um, and uh, I think you'll have to go back and do those bits. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys again in a moment. We're back bailing the straw. I've had uh, I've, I've had a discussion with Mark, and it seems that, that some of the uh, guidance systems that we have built into that combine were a little bit off. Um, it was only by it was only about about 10, 20 centimeters, but it was enough that uh, what would happen is that the guidance would sell him one thing and then it would just push the straw uh, the the canola just outside the divider so we've uh, we've had a play around we've adjusted it uh, and it seems to be that it's now working uh, he's cleared up the uh, the mess that was happening in the middle of the field which is good 
and uh, and I'm uh, yeah I'm back here bailing the straw again. Uh, hopefully we'll get round. Uh, we should get round this uh, this route or this uh, this headland before it finishes. This is the fourth headland, uh, and this is what I'm aiming to do today while we've uh, while we've got the canola going and harvesting that. So we should be all good. Make sure I've not got a bale on the back. Because the worst thing is when I forget to unload the bale. There we go. 98, 99, 100. A few patches where I've missed. But uh, otherwise, we're doing, we're doing good. I don't know if we can get another round of this headland done. Before that combine gets full. I think he might be waiting for us a little while if uh, if I do that. And it's a question of do I wait for him or does he wait for me? To be perfectly honest, with where we are at the moment, I would rather I was waiting for him than he was waiting for me. So I'm just going to... I'm going to take us up to the top of the field. So still use my time wisely. I can uh, I can still run back down. And, uh, and be back in plenty of time. And I want to try and unload the combine while it's moving. And he's, he's coming back up. So what we'll do is we'll put this on here. That is, uh, yeah, that's doing that. And again, we'll just hop over the hedge here. And while the combine comes back. And we can then pick that up on the way back. So in starter up and that just makes things easier and you can see the guides are doing a much better job now it has missed a couple of patches so it, it could be uh could be doing a little bit better but in general i'm happier with that it's it's getting a lot more of the crop into the header and uh and we'll just have to try and figure out why this uh, this issue is happening later I didn't notice it. When I was doing it on that field there, I didn't notice it. So something's obviously got jogged or knocked or... Because you can see it's right up on the edge of the uh, of the guide there. And that's... and But that's where the computer... That's where the onboard computer is telling it. It's, this, this machine doesn't quite have GPS on it. But it does have... Um, yeah, it does have... You can see those laser guides on the top there that... that tell you where you should be for the crop oh I've not got my cruise control set to the right speed talking of knocking things there we go get that filled patch of dead with a crop there. And he's shooting downhill. Always fun emptying on the go on a hill. But uh, even here, you get a few of those. And I really want to empty this combine. Oh, I'll get out to empty him again at the far end. He's going he's gonna to turn around. Mark prefers to, do, to go across the field like that. We... Uh, we can't do that, unfortunately. So he's got 31%, though. So what we can do is we'll go and leave the tractor at the far end. And we will pick him up uh, next time it comes round. So we'll just leave the tractor here. Turn it off. Handbrake on. Hop the hedge again. And we can keep going. And the advantage of having uh, two tractors is very, very obviously visible now. In that we're just we're just able to just keep these two going. Rather than unhooking and hooking the tractor up all the time. Much, much better way of doing this. This is where we start to get things straightened out with this fourth headland. We started to sort of smooth out that uh, the, the crooked edges of this field. And 
There we go. Uh, as I said, my aim today is to get these headlands done. We'll come round with the uh, bale collector and get these cleared up. And then uh, next time, what we'll be able to do is just come in here. And uh, Mark and I will work together and we'll just collect bales from behind the... Uh, behind the... Um, baler. The whole way across. And it'll just it'll just be a much smoother operation to get the rest of this field done. And we'll get all of these in before any possible rain comes. We are expecting it in about 10 days, I think, is the next forecast rain. I'm going to drop this bale here, I think. Just to make things easier on myself. And then, because, yeah, we have got a couple of bales sitting in this headland. And we should be good to finish off this fourth headland here at, oh wow, we might even get a full bale off this fourth headland. Yeah, there we go. Good thing I dropped that bale at the top end of the uh, field, I hope. Ah, oh, no, we do have one sitting on the back. Right, let's lift our pickup then. We'll drop this in this corner. Out the way. And that actually finishes us off on here. I'll drop that one off the back. We'll then drop the next one off of here. And I'll turn off the machine. There we go. And we'll put it down to the bottom corner. Because we're just going to concentrate on getting the canola done now. Um, and yeah, so that's cleared off the headlands here. That's that's good news. That's um, that sort of this. There's probably a full uh, full Anderson trailer of bales, actually. I think that we got off here. So that's good news. Uh, we will have to drive this tractor quite a long way around to get out of the field. But I'm half tempted to leave it in this field, actually. Because it'll only be a couple of days before we uh, before we do that. Start this up. And as I said, I want to pick this up on its return. And, uh, and yeah, we seem to have ironed out most of the issues now. That's good. A few bits of, uh, of withered and, and dead. Uh, oh, let him give him space to turn around. Uh, withered and dead crop around here. There we go. And we'll have this field finished in no time. Always throws me off. There we go. Finally, we've got some carting at a decent rate. I'm just trying to keep my eye on where I am. Speed it up a little bit. Be good to get a full trailer off this, but I don't think that's going to happen this time. Yeah, I think it's going to take one more run with him here. So, uh, yeah. Let's head back down the other end. And, uh, and not a huge amount of this field left to go. I've decided, because we don't have a lot of field left, uh, that I'm going to go and tip sort of the 79% uh, full trailer that we have here. Uh, there's plenty of time before the combine refills to do this. Uh, and it means that we will fit... We weren't going to fit the rest of the... The, uh, the rest of the field in this trailer anyway. So the advantage of this is we get to... Um, we get to, to tip this out. Um, we, we save time doing that. Uh, and, uh, and we've got to make two trips anyway. So tip that 
and bring ourselves back round and head down to the field. And, uh, and by that point, there shouldn't be an awful lot left for the combine to cut. Uh, and in fact, nope, you can see that there isn't. He's uh, right up top. It's getting a bit threadbare on some of those bits. Uh, he is going to go round uh, afterwards and uh, and just clean up those patches that are um, that are kicking about. Yeah, you can see you can see here he's he's coming to the end. So I am going to pull alongside. You want to be. About there ish. There we go. And, uh, and yeah. Mark's going to go and clear up afterwards. But we are just wanting to get the last of this into our trailer. And, uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to get the combine into the shed. Have a look at that. Before we, before we get into the barley. I want to get the combine into the shed, have a look, see where we are, because it's these alignment issues are uh, are not good, not good at all. And in fact, I think uh, yeah, I think we'll let uh, Mark finish there, and uh, I'll go a word with him because we need to get the rest of this field done. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to leave this here. All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.